Hi, it's Neil Sean here on Be My Guest. And my guest today, of course, is the one and only, the multi-talented, the gorgeous Mr. Brian Conley. And we're here at Brother Love's Travelling Salvation Show. Remember though, Brian. That's right, Neil. If you miss it, you miss out. Don't miss Brian today on Be My Guest. Brian, it's lovely to see you. It's nice to be here. Wonderful performance this morning Thank here you. in St. Mark's Church. I know, bless you, <laughs> and quite early, dare I say. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, and with no microphone, so, uh, but no, I mean, it's got they're such great songs and they have such energy that, uh, you know, it's easy to do. And a wonderful, you know, place, got a good resonance in this one. Were you always a Neil Diamond fan? Because for oh. me, you know, your voice is a, a very rich baritone, but you suit his songs so well. Yeah, I mean, from a, I mean, I was in my teens when I saw uh, the jazz singer, you know, and America and Love on the Rocks, and I love that summertime. Yeah. Big Carl, it's summer love. Um, I sung that wrong, so don't do that bit. Cut that bit <laughs> um, do a little shot of his hand or the book, and then come back to me. Um, but no, I mean, I've always been a huge fan. I don't, I don't think there's many people that aren't big Neil Diamond fans. And a nice cast, you've got three gorgeous girls, oh, Darren Day and Ben Jordan's Helix. When you work with somebody like Ben, who's kind of just starting out, and I hate the word veteran. Uh, <laughs> but no, but you, you see yourself sometimes a little bit in these, because you think, ooh, it's no, so I big and new. I never feel like that. I never feel like, oh, I'm this sort of old hand. It's always, <laughs> everything's new to me, you know, I'm just sort of feeling my way through it. But obviously I worked with Ben just at the end of the hairspray. Yeah. So we've done that in town together. And, uh, and Darren and I have known for many years. We've never actually worked together, but I, I think that's going to be fun. Yeah. So where can we see this and, and why is it? Because I think the venues that we've got are really unique. All we need Very is a good British summer. Yeah, beauty, <laughs> Goodwood, um, Leeds Castle, which isn't in Leeds, you know. Um, made some, <laughs> we're just basically all, uh, generally all over the place if you go on your website, uh, is it ITV? Uh, no, no, we don't no, plug no. ITV. Oh, right. But, you know, if you, so, cut to the book again. But if, if you go on my website, brianconley.com, you'll have all the dates on there. Um, I don't think we're going to let you down. It's a full, big orchestra. Yes, we've got some of the cast here. There's 20 people in the company and a uh, big 15 pace band, great sound. And I think this is the beginning of something that's just going to have legs and carry on for quite some time. Now, looking at your career, I've seen you in many things, mm. uh, including one of my favourites, I think probably my favourite role, until I see this, Jolson. Yeah. Which I just, you loved that role, and that role loved you at the Victoria Palace. Now, did, every night must have been just great for you. Um, I think having the, the, huge, the huge stars, Jackie Mason coming to see it, Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise, I mean, it was phenomenal. I remember Jackie Mason telling me that he said, you have no right to be that good in front of me. When I sat there watching him, I felt like a plumber's mate. This isn't Jolson, but it's still, you know, I'm playing yeah. brother love, I'm playing a gospel sort of preaching, celebrating the love of the, the great Neil Diamond and, and the joy that he's brought to the world, you know, so there is an energy there yeah. that is a, a similar to Jolson. And Jolson had that sort of graveliness, which Neil has got, yeah. which yeah. I've always had, you know. But when you started out, I mean, and I mean this nicely, when you started out, you know, you did a lot, and, and, and you know, you are what I would call a versatile all-round entertainer. You know, your kind don't really come along that often, no. and do you find that in a way sometimes difficult because people can't play you? You know, like if they go, he's a West End star, yeah. uh, he's this, but you can, I don't be this big no, head, you can do everything, really. Yeah, you know? I, I, so, I can't be put into a box. Yeah. Why, uh, but you know, it's meant I've had a, a fantastic career, I would you believe this year is celebrating my 50th birthday? I know. <laughs> Pushing 50 is probably the only exercise I get at the moment. But uh, it's, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, in my early days as a young entertainer, and I've grown up in this business, I was always zany comedian, Brian mm. Conley. I'm always battling to convince people that I am a bit older now, a bit more mature, and I've done many <laughs> things. Uh, I think the one thing that always surprises me is uh, no matter what I've done and have won numerous awards, people will always say that you used to be a blue coat. And I was a blue coat yeah. 32 years ago for three months. But, you know, things have moved on since then. But I think that again, that, that's an achievement because ultimately, you know, when you look at like starting in that, when you got that, that was a huge break. Oh, God. You, yeah, every, I was you see, it's a big, yeah, it's yeah, like you think you've made it, really. I don't know. You, so. I mean, I've been, I've been doing it for a long time. You know, I've never had a proper job. 
and I enjoy it. And I've been so lucky, you know. I mean, I've been cruising recently, and now this has come about. I mean, when they said, you know, you want to do this show, well, what's about that? Well, it involves all of Neil Diamond's songs. You know, I just couldn't resist it. And Craig has got such a brilliant track record. You know, we all see him on Strictly, but he is Very a brilliant boys, producer yeah. and, and director and choreographer, and he has just got rave reviews for adapting and reinventing the musical chess. Mm. That's on two at the moment, and that is one of the reasons I'm here as well, because I know that Craig will do a fantastic job. And when he said, yes, it has a rough narrative, there is some story there, but basically, it's a concert with an, all of Neil's energy and music, and, uh, and some comedy as well along the way. Naturally, Oh yeah, yeah it's gotta be. What's your MBC? There was one sort of role though that you still want to do in the future. The most fascinated by it is when I'll tell you, I'll tell you the one they all want me to do. Um, and they all want to be Tommy Cooper. Oh. Because I've got that deep drum. Thank you very much. And they've asked me, but I just think, well, I've played Jolson, you know, uh, and I, I'd like to leave it as that was my the real one that I played. But who knows, you know, I would love to do, and there's talk of it, and fingers crossed I might be doing Fagan at the end of the year. Playing that on tour, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. During 50 years' time, somebody from Matt was telling me, well, not us, but somebody's telling me, saying, Are you going to play Brian Connolly? You know, <laughs> they wouldn't find anyone that talented, let's be honest. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, you've got your singing, you've got your comedy, you've got your acting, you know, there's a lot there. Brian is ever a thrill. Thank you. Yeah, bless you, and bless the people out there in television. Where feel the love of Neil. <laughs>